Mihoyo is fucking trolling us. They've got to be, right? This, this isn't real. Like, okay, there's a lot of anniversary discourse. There always is for every single game. If the game doesn't come out and tell you, we're giving you all of these things for free. And it's usually a, a large amount of things. Usually games for their anniversary will give you, like, a lot of stuff because, you know, thanks for playing. And Mihoyo actually, like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, during the launch of the game, they gave out so much free shit that I was like, oh, Mihoyo actually seems like a pretty generous company. And then I saw... And then I saw this shit. Hold on. Okay, so the, this this dropped when I was sleeping, I guess. Um, one year anniversary community events rewards preview. So like, all right, this is basically their way of saying we have extra rewards for you guys. We were withholding the rest of the rewards so that way you guys would be excited about it. I, I, I'm, this is a fucking joke, man. It's gotta be. It's it's gotta be a fucking joke. So an overview of one year anniversary community events and unforgettable journey web events. So basically, um, for this period of time. You can win Primo Gems, Mora, Mystic Enhancement, or Heroes Woods. That's pretty standard for, like, your web event stuff. And during the event, travelers can watch their own anniversary theater, relive their experiences with their journey. After watching, travelers will not only obtain a reward for viewing, but also exchange rewards with their friends, such as Primo Gems and Mora. So how to participate, uh, links. Okay, so basically they put up a standard web event. <laughs> That's, that's it. They just put up the, their normal web event that they do uh, every couple patches. Except for this time, it's not story development. It's just like, uh, it's a recollection of, of your adventure, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Um, a message in time web event. So it's another web event. And event rewards. Blessing of the Welkin Moon. One chance to win. 10%. Uh, okay, okay. Mora times 100,000. So that's 100k Mora. Chance to win 90%. <laughs> They, they put fucking gotcha in the anniversary rewards. They literally said, oh, you guys, you, artifact gotcha not enough for you guys? You don't like having gotcha on your resin uh, and then gotcha on your gotcha on your resin? Well, here's gotcha in your anniversary rewards, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. I'll read the thing. Uh, during the event, travelers can take a part in a raffle by creating their own anniversary cards. After the event ends, we will randomly select 10% of participants who receive the Blessing of the Welkin Moon. 10% of the participants get a Blessing of the Welkin Moon. Um, so 1 in 10 of you. Basically, uh, whichever one of you wins the Jade Cutter 50-50, uh, their first try, is getting a Welkin Moon. Uh, the remaining participants who are not selected will be rewarded with more at times 100k. Pog, dude, that's almost like... Hold on, let me, let me double check. Let me see how many talents I can level up with that one. Hold on. Oh, hell yeah. We, we can take Ganyu's Burst halfway to level 8 with that money. That's insane. Insane rewards for the anniversary, guys. And all you have to do is take a little bit of your extra time for this extra web event, and you can almost take a character's talent from 7 to 8. <laughs> all right, but here's the good stuff, right? Anniversary congratulatory art repost prize giveaway. Uh, okay. Uh, event rewards. iPhone 13 Pro Max times three. They're giving away three iPhone 13s, guys. You guys, you guys better be grateful. You guys better be so grateful for the, the three iPhone 13 Pro Maxes. Totally Genshin related and applicable to every single participant. Share daily to participate in the raffle for cash prizes on Twitter and Facebook. So basically you have to share art every single day for four days on your Twitter and Facebook. So basically if you, if you have personal friends on your Facebook, they're just going to be like, bro, you okay? Like, I think your account got hacked. So, so promote for MiHoYo, give them, give them free promo and uh, three out of the, the 10 million of you will get an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay. But like, it couldn't be, couldn't be worse than that. Right? Wrong. Genshin Impact Anniversary Event Recording Your Anniversary Memories. So, how to access the event? Basically, go through Genshin Impact accounts on Facebook and Twitter. It's going to be another social media thing. Um, I don't. It doesn't explain what it is. But a thousand people are going to get a hundred Primo gems. So your odds are pretty damn high. What is that? That's like it's like the odds of getting two five stars in a ten pull or something. You'll get a hundred Primo gems. So congratulations to all of you lucky people out there. Oh, but don't worry. There's there's more ways to get a hundred Primo gems for a thousand people. Let's solve word puzzles. If you do word puzzles on social media, you can get a hundred. Primo gems. Oh, if you do cosplay, so if you promote their characters uh, and their game, you can win Primo gems, Apple AirPods, Razor Death Adder V2, Fateful Gift Series merchandise sets of random characters, and you have to do it through Hoey Lab. So actually, this one isn't that bad. This is already one that, like, they, they do this pretty often, so this isn't actually just, like, free promo, because it's on their own platform. Anniversary events in progress. Promise of Worldly Encounter. This is a photo submission contest. This is something we already know about, basically. On Hoyo Lab, you submit photos. Uh, worldly Encounter, also Hoyo Lab. Uh, video submission, fan art submission. Yeah, so these these are these are fine, because these are on their own platform, and you don't have to worry about the, the free advertisement. But I'm sorry, the, the art repost giveaway? Are you fucking serious? Like, this has to be a... This has to be a joke, right? Like, there's no... 
so there's there's no way a multi-billion dollar company that's grossed more than Fortnite this year is is telling us that they can't they can't generate free fucking things for us, right? They can't generate like a decent amount of primo gems that cost them absolutely fucking nothing to do. Ah, oh, but Brax, they have to make money too, you know. They can't just give out free stuff. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making any money. Except they fucking would. There's there's no like they could give us a hundred pulls right now. And do you know how much their sales would suffer in comparison to like how much money they've made over this entire year? Like, do you, do you guys know how much fucking money MiHoYo has made? Oh, Brax, it takes a lot to run a company. You don't know about the cost of the company. Bro, any company making a couple billion dollars in one year off of a product that they do not have to ship, uh, off of a product that they do not have to put on trucks and send out to different countries is not having any fucking issues, let me tell you. They literally, uh, they don't have to pay for shit. Like, they pay to run their servers, they pay their employees, and then they cut their CEOs and all their big fucking corporate heads a giant paycheck. And you know what giving us some actual anniversary rewards would do? Absolutely fucking nothing to those corporate paychecks. You know why? Because it costs them nothing, dude. Fuck, it. Like, like it just feels like anything would be better than what we have now. And I know a lot of people are watching this video and they're like, you should just be grateful, Brex. You should be grateful for what MiHoYo is giving us. They're giving us so much. MiHoYo is such a good company, and we really should appreciate everything that they give to us for free because the game is a free-to-play game already, and we, we already spend so much time playing their wonderful free-to-play game. Now, let me tell you why that's bullshit. This community, the Genshin Impact community, is probably one of the most supportive communities I've ever seen in terms of a video game, monetization, and all of those sorts of things. We know this game is predatory as fuck. We know that Gotcha is a terrible fucking business model for consumers, and yet we play it anyways because we love the game. And there are people that make free art for this all the time. There are people that make videos for free. There are people that cosplay this for free. People will like shamelessly plug this game so much more than they need to. The amount of shit that we've done for me, Hoyo, in exchange for being able to play their game is really astounding. And I'm not trying to be like an entitled prick, but the least they could do if they were going to give us anniversary rewards <laughs> is not ask us to free promo their game more when we're already doing it on a daily basis. It just makes them look bad. Like we're gonna promo the game anyways. We're talking about it non-fucking stop. You know all the kids that are standing like Kokomi and shit? They're literally talking about Kokomi and Genshin Impact all fucking day. Well, I mean, some of them are talking about Cookie Run, whatever the... Whatever the fuck that is. But nobody will shut up about Genshin Impact. It is like probably, honestly, it's probably the biggest game this year. And MiHoYo didn't ask us to do that. MiHoYo didn't ask us to free promo their game before the anniversary. So why are they asking us to do it now? It just looks so fucking bad, man. I don't know. Listen, guys, I don't really have any suggestions on how they can fix anniversary rewards because I think everyone at this point wants different things. I just think it's really scummy for a company to ask us to do things for them to get anniversary rewards after we've been doing these same things all year. Because this should be a time to celebrate the game, for sure. But it should also be a time to celebrate those longtime players who have been around since the start. And it certainly feels like MiHoYo, instead of focusing on the long-term players, is more focused on getting new players. And they will already get new players during the anniversary because they're giving out free stuff, right? Even though the anniversary rewards aren't super great, it is a good time for new players to come in and start playing the game. I just wish they wouldn't use the old players to bring in the new players, you know? I don't know. This has been my two cents on it. I'm fucking mad. Kokomi guide tomorrow.